Hi everyone, it's Margaret Manning here with She Cruises. Hope that you are having a fabulous day wherever you are in the world. Perhaps you're on a cruise or you're planning for one, but whatever you're doing with the cruise of your life, just thank you so much for being here and for supporting our site, shecruises.com. Now, I am a hat lady. I love wearing hats. I always have. I've uh, done various downsizing exercises with my clothes over the past uh, 20 years, and I always give my hats a sort of a, a mulligan, like I don't count them, because I just would be lost without my hats. I wear them all the time. In fact, I looked back at pictures of me as a child, and I always had little hats on when I was a girl too, so I think it's just something I was born with. I think you're kind of a hat person, or maybe in the middle, or not at all. But anyway, I love hats, and I wear them all the time when I cruise, and I often pick pick up hats when I cruise because I tend to always forget them on the day I need one or I just am intrigued by the way that people wear hats. So um, I wanted to share with you some ideas about wearing hats and especially for cruises and get your feedback too. So I think first of all there's something about hats. I just want to go back to that topic that people like looking at hat people wearing hats. It's like they're like a smile magnet. I mean, I've noticed this when I wear my hats, I, or maybe it's just me, maybe I just smile more. Maybe it's something that brings out the smile in me. But I think that hats just make you feel good, make you feel complete, make you feel put together, and they're just pretty. And so I, I, I enjoy wearing my hats. Now, there's nothing like a wide-brimmed hat, right, to have a bit of mystery and an aura. I've got a beautiful wide brim. I've got lots of wide brim hats. But this one I bought, um, where did I buy this? I think it was in Portugal just recently, but it's so pretty. It's white and black. And you know, there's just something about putting, you know, that hat on and just keeping yourself behind it. It's just got that magic to it. This one's actually got two little points, which is really interesting. When I was doing some pictures, I didn't realize it. I felt like Mary Poppins. I was going to float away. But anyway, hats are great. And you can also do cool things like you can put different bands on them and different colors and ribbons and uh, brooches, flowers. They're just really, really versatile. So that's my first kind of wide brimmed hat. And of course, hats are good for the weather. Right? They're good for you. They keep you healthy. I mean, first of all, dermatologists all say that we, you know, we don't get enough sun protection just from using SPF products on our face or our skin. We've really got to do something a little bit more, um, you know, serious and dramatic with our, our bodies to protect it from the rays of the sun, especially when you're cruising, because the water reflects the light on the sun. It bounces back and that's why you always get really lots of, you know, nice tan on the on a, on a cruise. But anyway, I have to put my hair down. So hats are a perfect solution for keeping your your the skin on your scalp, um, you know, safe. And if you've got blonde hair or gray hair, it's really um, your hair's gotten a bit thinner and your scalp is more exposed. So I think that's really a good idea. So always buy a hat that's got. Um, well, here's another one I can show you. It's kind of a thick weave. This is a fun hat too. It's got a bow in the back. I like that, it's really cute looking from behind, but the front is nice too. Okay, it's a little bit more. I, I think I bought a hat similar to this when I was traveling in India. It's got that it stays on your hair head. It's like it's not coming off. <laughs> it's really secure. If you're gonna go elephant riding or anything like that. But anyway, it's a it's a really cool hat. I'm gonna leave it on for a minute. So that's the thing. So the sun should have uh, for sunshine. It should have a wide rim. It should have a nice tight weave. And um, you know, of course, hats can be uh, used for rain protection too. Uh, I haven't got one handy, but I always carry one of those really easy fold up ones that go you know quite wide rim that goes down almost on your shoulders as well so those are really perfect for the rainy weather and if you're cruising in any place like Norway I advise you strongly especially if you stop in Bergen to bring a rain hat because it rains 200 and something 50 days a year it's super rainy and then there's other places too where you just you can't predict the weather right so you have to just uh take a hat or two or three that uh they scrunch up in your suitcase so not that actually difficult and you can you can do you know keep them two or three in that last minute packing um so that's that with, with hat being fashionable um you can always this is actually interesting I, you know, when you when you're on a on a cruise, you go out in the morning on the on the deck. 
um, everybody's having breakfast and you go out there and your hair goes like this, you know, it's kind of like out in the world. It's like, it's really nice to just, you know, be able to have a little hat on, keep it all together and then go into breakfast looking like you haven't just been out on a, you know, a windstorm somewhere. So I always tuck a little beret or a little hat in my, in my pocket when I'm on a, on a cruise early in the morning or late in the evening, just, just makes it feel more kind of, um, oh, I don't know, put together. So, uh, I'd say waterproof hats, sun hats, so the, what other hats might you have? Well, for me, I think the fashion aspect of hats is kind of the most uh, interesting and the most fun. Um, I think they're a perfect solution for completing an outfit. You can have just a simple black top and pants on, and then if you put a hat on, it just makes it perfect and sparkle. So, that's my kind of chat about hats. Do you love hats? Are you a hat person? If you are, leave a note below as to like where the where your favorite hat, what your favorite hat is and where you bought it. I really would love to know that. And of course, for some reason, hats and scarves are really coming back in fashion. So you can go to any of the high street shops now and find just fabulous hats. And they're not that expensive. So they're one of those things like a scarf that, um, you know, you can just really enjoy and not feel like you've had to break uh, the bank. So finally... This is my last little hat I want to share with you. This is probably my favorite hat of all time. See, it really scrunches up perfectly, but it's when you put it on, I just love this hat. It feels really nice. It's got a really pretty uh, band. The colors are very muted, but I just think it's such a sweet hat. So those are my three hats. I've got another 10 <laughs> that I could show you, but I do hope it's been fun uh, just exploring the world of hats and tell us about your favorite hat, where you purchased it. And uh, the next time that you're on the ship, I know you're going to be thinking about a hat as your wind is blowing, but just uh, let it take you somewhere. Hats are magical and they really do take you inside yourself and out into the world. They're just a beautiful accessory. So take care, everybody. Hope that you have a wonderful day. And uh, if you're on a cruise, enjoy yourself. Send us some pictures and I uh, hope you have a wonderful experience. Take very good care. Talk again soon.